Sa tunga sang pandemya, pila sa medical frontliners ang naka-experiensya sang diskriminasyon. Paano nila iniginatubang kag diin sila nagakuha sang kusog kag kabakod nga ipadayo ng ilang misyon nga buliga ng mga pasyente sang COVID-19. Pero paano kung sila mismo biktima man sang balatian? Madamo na ang mga doktor kag medical staff ang nagpositibo sa COVID-19. Pilagani sa ila, ginbawi na sang kabuhi. Sa likod sini nga mga pagtilaw kag mga pagpanghangkat. Kamusta na bala ang mga medical frontliners? Kagbilang pumuluyo, may mahimo ka bala? Agud matap na ang pandemya? Mga kapuso, imbukada sa spotlight. Makaupo natin si Dr. Ella May Divinagracia, Infectious Disease Specialist sa St. Paul's Hospital, Iloilo. Good morning, Doc. Good morning, Dr. Lissadri, and good morning sa tanang niya palamati sa GMA. Hmm. It's been a while and I'm glad to be back here sa inyo para nga magpangamusta na naman. No? Wow, Doc, uh, we're honored kay ikaw, Gid, ang pinakauna na itong guest sa, pinak sa pagbalik sa aton morning program. Kagsubong ining early edition, ikaw, Gid, ang amon, honored guest, Doc. Bilang isa ka infectious disease specialist, sigurado kami ang uh, arakid sa front line sa pakigbato sa sakit ngayon eh. Can you describe to us how these past months has been for you, Doc? Uh, if there's one word that I want to use and probably everyone who is uh, involved with this problem will use, it's challenging. No? So since the start of this pandemic, we started to see in our hospital as early as January 31, patients who we referred to initially as person under investigation. No? Every discharge, every patient that is being discharged is good news to us mm -hmm. because uh, with that, then we can allow patients also, especially those with uh, moderate to severe manifestations, to be admitted. So, Doc, you have trained for years no, to prepare for this. No? But what do you consider the most difficult, no? pinakabudlay nga experience siya so far nga nahandol mo, Gid? Yeah, so far, if you remember, we are the only hospital that was locked down. Initially, our team here at St. Paul's questioned the wisdom of that lockdown. But we used that to our advantage. The challenge after those times was uh, the discrimination that mm -hmm. we felt as healthcare workers in the community and even inside the hospital also. This is an opportunity also to tell people that we should uh, give opportunity hindi not to discriminate ang aton mga frontliners. But on a personal level, no, what do you do, ikaw, may personally, in order to cope? No? Paano mo, balan ko, trabaho ka every day? No? How do you handle? No? Ining, uh, how do you take a break from all this para nga maka-recharge ka and be ready for the next day? The pressure was tremendous. So I put it all to the Lord. Uh, in fact, I played this song, the, the, the spiritual songs, make it loud enough for me to really feel those. And uh, so it, it's prayer, it's prayer. And uh, it strengthened my faith. Kung mag-tubangay ka mo, Doc, you, your son, and your husband, pariyo ka mo tanan doktor, everyday, COVID man balagi apo ng inestoryan nyo. For now, our topic is usually COVID. But if our son is there, because he rarely comes home. Okay. In fact, when he comes home, like during his days off, he will, he has a boarding house. So, we require him to wear mask, except while we're eating. So, while we're eating, we still observe physical distancing. Me and my husband, there are times when, of course, we talk about other things, uh, just to relax our mind. You know? mm -hmm. But majority of those times usually is about COVID. Uh, was there any time during this whole ordeal, no, or ordeal or crisis, ni, nga you feel like quitting or running away from all this, or uh, you've always been someone nga bisana mo na ni kadlikado, ginapatad mo gidang imo nga lawa sa imobilidad sa tanan. Yes, it occurred in my mind, especially when there were increasing cases in Manila. Uh, but then somebody, why why not have, because I, I can already retire actually. Mm -hmm. I can retire at my age. But uh, there was somebody I heard that don't make a major decision during a disaster. So that made me focus. Doc, ang imo na lang mensahe, Una sa mga kaupdanan mga frontliners, kag ikaduwa sa mga publi sa publiko, no? Because every, hindi lang ni inyo battle, it's a battle also for, for those outside the hospital. Anong mensahe mo sa tanan? Yeah. 
Yeah, those, so this pandemic is here to stay. This virus, this COVID-19 infection is here to stay. We don't know until when. My colleagues, uh, yes, I've heard some of them who are thinking also of retiring. So uh, for as long as we understand science, the mode of transmission, how this can be, uh, trans how you get the infection, how to protect ourselves. And for the people outside the community, I want you to understand the, uh, be compassionate no, of, for our healthcare workers. Um, there are a lot of healthcare workers who so get infected. No? So this is our battle. No? All of us is involved on this. If you discriminate it or them, they are also the persons who will be taking care of you. you know, just remember that. No? So uh, don't but discriminate uh, the healthcare workers and uh, be strong and always pray. Don't forget that with God, uh, this probably also uh, is divine intervention. Everything is happening for a reason. And no matter how bad the situation is, there is always something good that will come out from this situation. Right. So prayer, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Dimilagasha. Uh, mga kapuso, nakita natin nga ato mga frontliners, mga doctors, kag mga nurses. Tao man ni sila nga may kahadlok, may pagduda. Pero sa uli, bisan may muna silang inapangatubang, ilagyapon, ginserbisyohan ng ila isig katao. That makes them heroes.